Meghan Markle and Prince Harry cut off claims show pair out of touch, not a good look. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's claims that the royal family financially cut them off has been criticized by a Nazi TV host who called the couple out of touch. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's claims that they were literally cut off financially has been criticized by an Australian TV host, who claims the couple are out of touch. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's claims have been called into question after the royal expenditure reports revealed that they were paid £4.5 million in 2020. Edwina Bartholomew said, There seems to be some kind of argument over the timing, so I don't think they outright told a lie. I do think it makes them look even more out of touch, when you're talking about gazillions of dollars slash. They've got Diana's estate, she independently wealthy as well. They're living in a $12 million house, I mean how much money do you need to survive when you're doing $100 million deals as well? She added, it's not a great look for them and it's not a great time for this to happen, a week before Harry goes to the UK again. During their tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey in March, the couple said they had been financially cut adrift from the royal family, after they made their shock Megxit announcement in January 2020. This had forced the couple to depend on the money Princess Diana had left Harry following her death. As part of their goal to become financially independent, the couple striked deals with Netflix and Spotify to produce podcasts and content. The deal is estimated to be worth $100 million. Alongside this, Prince Harry has taken on the role of chief impact officer at Silicon Valley startup BetterUp. Their financial claims regarding the royal family have been drawn into question after the publication of the annual royal expenditure report on Thursday. The report showed that in the financial year beginning April 2020, Prince Charles had allocated £4.5 million to Prince William, Prince Harry and their families. Clarence House clarified that whilst the couple are now financially independent, the Prince of Wales had allotted a substantial sum to help the couple transition from their royal roles. When asked about Harry's comments to Oprah Winfrey, a spokesperson said, I wouldn't acknowledge that they are dramatically different. All I can tell you are the facts. During their bombshell interview, the couple also criticized Buckingham Palace for neglecting Meghan's mental health and for refusing to correct damaging tabloid articles that falsely depicted the Duchess. Prince Harry spoke of his strained relationship with Prince Charles, revealing that his father had stopped taking my calls. They also accused an unnamed member of the royal family of making a racist remark about the skin tone of their unborn child. Harry and Meghan now reside in Montecito, California with their two children, Archie and Lilibet. Prince Harry is due to return to the UK next week to unveil a statue in his mother's memory. It will be the first time he has reunited with his brother Prince William since their grandfather's funeral in April.
Meghan now reside in Montecito, California with their two children, Archie and Lilibet. Prince Harry is due to return to the UK next week to unveil a statue in his mother's memory. It will be the first time he has reunited with his brother Prince William since their grandfather's funeral in April.